to be joined by the stars of the new film Dungeons and Dragons Honour Among Thieves, Chris Pine, Michelle Rodriguez and Reggae Champagne. Yeah. Hello, hello. Uh, welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Thanks for joining us Thanks as well. Thanks for having us. Uh, Michelle, I'm going to start with you. Because uh -oh. rumour has it you're a self-confessed geek when it comes to Dungeons and Dragons and actually got some of the crew together to play the game before filming at times, apparently? Well, I hadn't played, to be fair, in 20 years. Before, oh. before John and Jonathan approached me with the script. But I did play when I was a kid. Okay, so it's a little teenager. refresher. Like. It's a refresher for sure. Nice. And, nice. and I love geeks. I think they're so cool. So they're do like I. Content. I'm with you, Michelle. <laughs> Nothing wrong. <laughs> um, Chris, we hear your nephew is yeah. a Dungeons & Dragons fan. Big so time. has he given the film his seal of approval? He saw it with all of it. So he's played, he's 13 now. He's probably played for six years or so with his pals. And he's an incredibly dedicated player. He draws his own maps and writes his own campaigns oh, wow. and everything. So he saw it, and they uh, they all sent me a thank you note, and they were they were very appreciative. He has some notes on my acting, of course, but <laughs> that, uh, it's as they do, yeah. Well, we're asking you all these questions about the film, and I'm sure our viewers are desperate for a little taste. So let's give them a little look. How are we gonna pull this off? We're gonna need a team. Follow me to the orifice. The orifice? I'll go last. She missed. No, that's not good. Yeah, that's definitely not good. Um, now, Rega, you play uh, a knight in shining armor. Of course. In the film, as you do, uh, casually. Got a question here from uh, from Olivia. She asks, um, "What did you like most about your character in Dungeons and Dragons?" I mean, you kind of hit on it. He's a literal knight in shining armor. Yeah. I get the cape. I get the sword. I get to slay dragons. I'm living <laughs> out every single one of my ten year old dreams here. Like, I am Chris's <laughs> nephew in this case. Um, but the joy of him is that that's also the joke. Like, the movie is not about having perfect heroes, it's about messing up and fixing it. And this is what our improviser, Supreme, over here, yeah. that's kind of Chris's superpower. He does that a lot. Yeah. So you're <laughs> kind of the ringleader, aren't you, Chris? Yeah. So how does your character fit into the story? You know, Reggae said it. I, what I really liked about the film or the idea about the film is that this is a crew of extraordinarily uh, unextraordinary people. <laughs> Uh, and I am uh, I am definitely the, the captain of that ship. This guy that I play, Egan, is sort of a failure at life and most things that he puts his mind to. But he's incredibly optimistic, and so the thing that carries him through is that he's able to see the silver lining and the glass, uh, the glass half full kind of perspective on life. So he's the great motivator and party planner even though he has no discernible skills. We like people like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. we do. Yeah. Although, luckily enough, he had Michelle's character, Holger, with him all the time to protect him, barbarian. looking after him, <laughs> Holger the Barbarian. Um, the stunts, they're very impressive, I have to say, Michelle. Um, what, what are you doing to prepare for this? It's got to be more than just, like, going I to the gym. I had a blast. It was so much fun. But then the discipline part of it, I mean, I could do without, you know, 15 pounds of muscle, having to train three months beforehand, wow. and then getting to Northern Ireland and having to keep that weight on for five months, five days a week, weightlifting. Yeah. The guy wakes you up before you go to work. Armpit to like, hair. Armpit hair. I yeah. grew, I grew three, about months, that. three months worth of armpit hair. She's no, you oh, very proud. so proud of the outfit. Very, yeah. very you, proud. You could it's like any excuse to reach for things on top shelf. Oh, right. You know, I, I lifted my arms a lot more times than, uh. than the directors decided to let in the movie. I gotta say, I'm a little offended that they cut out all my arm lifting. I, I would point to things, you know. It was, uh, but yeah. After all that effort, yeah, you wanted in the film. It yeah. made a debut. It made a debut in the dungeon. You Perfect. know, as I'm lifting my helmet off. <laughs> you get both bushes in your face. <laughs> Just an added dimension. Like um, yeah. Hugh Grant is brilliant in it as yeah. a baddie. What's it like, Chris, going head to head with Hugh? Well, Hugh tells his story himself. The first day of filming for Hugh, he had seven pages of dialogue, which, like, for an actor is an absolute bang. The first day on set. We'd already been there for a while shooting, so we already had kind of a rapport. And to watch him, it was all on him, but the, the camera started on him, and as you do in film, you start wide and then kind of push it in closer and closer and closer. And to see him kind of modulate and twist things and play with things and do his Hugh, um, you know, his Hugh spin on it, it's like watching a master at work. He's a craftsman, and what we play with as actors are words and moments, so as an actor, you're just looking at, 
you know, how he's playing with the timing and, you know, why is he, he skips a word there, why is he doing that? I just loved it. I mean, look, I grew up watching his films. He's, he's uh, you know. It's his sword tongue. His sword tongue. <laughs> his sword, sword, sword tongue. tongue. I just love that British, dry, humor sword tongue. In one sentence, he can chop somebody up into 100 pieces. Yeah. It's extraordinary. Yeah. I, I'm always in awe. I forget sometimes that I'm, like, acting, you know, and I, like, <laughs> I'm like, ah! Yeah. <laughs> you know? what, what I have to say, what you all bring to the, to the table in the show is something I massively didn't expect was what was the level of humor that is mm. throughout the whole film mm. um i mean Rega, your character in particular brought brought Thank a lot you. of that to the table some of that straight <laughs> face stuff as well that kind of just yeah, yeah works um, really well. no it was a joy it was well the thing is this game this is the game's about improvisation and so all i had to do was go to work and be playful because i play this incredibly straight laced character which means I'm the straight man in the movie. I set up jokes and then Chris knocks them out of the park, or I set oh, up a right, joke yeah. and Michelle's knocks out of yeah. the park. Mm -hmm. um, and so it was just a treat for an actor to turn up and be with improvisers of this level, this oh, witty, yeah. this sharp. All I had to do was lay it out, and they just had to keep a straight face and <laughs> make everyone yeah, else laugh. Nice. Uh, Michelle, you mentioned that you filmed in Northern Ireland and the landscapes look gorgeous. Um, Chris, was it the first time you'd been to Northern Ireland? I mean. Yeah, I've been, uh, I'd done Dublin and toured around uh, there a while back, but I'd never been to Northern Ireland before. It was beautiful. I mean, unfortunately, we were there during the lockdown and the quarantine, so there was not much uh, um, uh, yeah. socializing it to, to be done. But, you know, I love history and I love, you show me a cobblestone and I'm like, I'm taking, I'm like, I'm the guy. <laughs> I am that American tourist. Oh, no. It's like an old stone. <laughs> oh, goodness, you know. Yeah, the UK is perfect. Yeah, it's like, like yeah. On. Bring it streets on. in London, oh ideal. God. I can't wait for the coronation. I'm just giddy, giddy yeah. with excitement. Uh, 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 quickly, if you can, for us, Michelle, because you had the uh, premiere of the film, didn't you, last night? Or we did. Oh, yeah. What That's was your fan premiere. reaction like? They must have loved it. You're the one who sat through. Yeah, I did. All right. Uh, yeah, and I'd never seen it in IMAX before. Which okay. for, I haven't seen a film in IMAX in so long. I cannot believe how big the screens are. I mean, the screen's like... <laughs> It's incredible. Yeah, yeah. And what John and Jonathan did, which I think, I think there's a way to, that we could have made this film that would have been really slick and really nice and, you know, a good time. But I think they really put their own, their own spin on the, the, the visual component of it. There's one scene in particular where uh, Sophia Lillis, who plays Dork, is a shapeshifter, so she can become a mouse and she can become all, all sorts of things. And this five deer. minute sequence, a deer, <laughs> a five minute sequence where the cameras subjectively pummeling through all of this stuff and you you're it's like being on a roller coaster yeah. right? i've ne i've never experienced anything like it it's no it's brilliant it is brilliant people must go and see it